Hi everyone, let's solve today's uh, daily challenge that is verifying an alien dictionary. Now in this question, we are given an alien language, right? It also uses English lowercase letters, but possibly in different order. And the order of the alphabet is some permutation of lowercase letters. Now we are given a sequence of words written in the alien language and the order of the alphabet. Return true if and only if the given words are sorted lexicographically in this alien language. Right, so uh, we are given this words array and uh, we are given this order. So let's understand uh, the basic things in this question. So what is given to us is, uh, these are some words, right, from the alien language, right? These are some alien words and these aliens also use lowercase letters like us, but in a different order, right? What order do we follow? We, all, uh, we follow A, B, C, D and so on, but they follow this order, right? And that order will be given to us in the question. Now, what do we have to do? We have to check whether all the words in this uh, words array are in lexicographical order or not. That means hello should be lexicographically smaller than lead code. Now, what is lexicographically smaller? So, lexicographical order is basically dictionary order. So, in lexicographical order, let's say we have cat. Now, how do we check which one is lexicographically smaller? So, we check the very first characters of uh, the two words right so if the character whichever character is smaller right that appears uh, before the next word right in the dictionary so that means cat will appear before dog in dictionary right so this was according to this order that we follow right but here the order is uh, order given to us is different right so the order is so in this order we are saying that H has lesser value than L and A and B and so on. That means H words starting with H should appear in dictionary before the words starting with L, right? So here we can see the similar example. So we take this word hello and we take lead code. So we can easily say that this will appear first in the dictionary. Why? Because H has a smaller value than L, right? H has to appear before L in the dictionary. So that means this words array that is given to us is in lexicographically um, is stored in lexicographically order, right? So uh, the, now there is uh, another case for uh, this question that we have to consider is uh, this third example that is given to us. So what they are saying is we are given apple and app, right? And the answer is false. Now, according to uh, what we just saw that now app and app it is same right this much part is same so according to this definition we can say right apple will appear before app but that is not the case why because um uh, see because l is greater than phi right where phi is defined as blank character which is less than any other character now what we are considering is that this app that is given to us this app that is given to us Let's append these phi, right? And we have apple, okay? Oh, sorry. And we have apple. So, the first three characters are fine. But if we check L, right? Whether L is less than phi, that is incorrect. Phi has the least value than all of these characters. And similarly for E. So, we can, so we cannot say that apple appears before app in the dictionary app will appear before apple so that is why in this case they have returned false so we have to also take care of this condition so how will we solve it so the basic idea is because we have to take in account the order right the ordering of um, these uh, characters so what we will do we will create a map right and we will associate some values to all of these elements right all of these um, alphabets that are given in this order string right so what will we do uh, we will create a sequence map and we will say that h has a value of 1 and and l has a value of um, 2 and until 26 so sequence of the last letter is z so it will has a have a value of 26 and then according to these values we will make a comparator function right 
we will make a comparator function and we will uh, sort this vector right we will take it inside of another temporary vector okay temporary array and we will sort this array according to this comparator right according to this sequence of letters right and how will we do that we will use this map in there right so um, then we will check whether the ordering that we have in temp the ordering in temp will be the lexicographical order right if that order is also in words right if words also has the same thing then we can say that words array is in lexicographical order right all the words are present in dictionary order otherwise not so let's see the code so let's code it out so what will we do the very first thing that we will be doing is creating a map right now we are creating the map here because uh, we have to also access it inside of our cmp function that is the comparator function so we'll say sequence and this is the map that we have created now we will come here and create this map okay so we'll traverse from i is equal to 1 i less than equal to 26 we have only 26 letters right then we will create this map now how will we create this map we will take um the values from this order right so we'll say order order of i minus 1 because um the indices start from 0 and then we'll simply place i in here so we have created the map right this map will have uh, values starting from 1 to 26 and that will be given to all of these letters that we have now what we will do we will create another vector vector of string let's call it temp okay and this will be equal to we will just copy this uh, words vector that we have inside of this temp and now what do we have to do is we have to sort this temp according to a comparator function right so we will do temp dot begin temp dot end and we will also pass a comparator function right and then we will check if temp is equal equal words okay if this is so then we will return true otherwise we will return false okay now let's write this comparator function here right so this cmp function will take two strings right because we are sorting this vector of string so we have to take two strings string a and string b let's take right then what we have to do is we have to check the lexicographical order now we will obviously if this has smaller length so we cannot compare more than that right so for that what we will do we will take an integer and store the minimum length of whichever is the smaller right that length will be stored in n so a dot uh, size comma b dot size okay now we will traverse inside of this loop we will start comparing from the very first characters of these strings right we saw that we compare from the very first uh, characters right and if they are equal then only we move on to the next character right otherwise we can simply check from the very first character right so we will start from i is equal to 0 i less than n and i plus plus and what we will do we will check if if sequence of a of i right is less than sequence of b of i right then then this means that um that a string is lexicographically smaller then we can say that we can simply return sorry we can simply return true in this case otherwise otherwise what can be the other case if if on this sequence of a of i has a greater value than sequence sequence of b of i right then we have to return false okay this is done now what other thing that we saw was for this case right we also have to check the string length like 
after traversing inside of this loop what will be getting right all these values are equal as you can see so we will not be returning true or false we will not be returning anything from this loop so we also have to check whether a dot size is less than or equal to b dot size right if it is a smaller only then we will return true otherwise we will return false right this also we have to check okay so let's run it okay so this is accepted let's submit it Okay, so that is how we have to solve this question.